Welcome back to a lot of tennis to be playing, and we've we've watched these two ladies already this week, so we know what's up. Uh, Badosa Kudamatova, we saw Kudamatova beat uh, Osaka in that very strange match uh, with Osaka breaking down because of <coughs> comments in the comments in the uh, in the from the crowd, and Kudamatova just all business. She did not let that affect her at all, and we watched uh, Badosa play Fernandez and to, to kind of to demolish her in the end. Uh, with the big hitting. So we've seen these two ladies before and they've actually played a couple of times. Let's go to the preview because the head-to-head -head might surprise you. Uh, it surprised me, that's for sure. Okay, winner of this match will play Zachary in the semis. Now, we've watched a lot of three setters this week, but the semi, the quarterfinals of the women have not been one of those. <laughs> quarterfinals of the women have all been straight sets. Um, and who knows what well, this could be the three setter this one could be the three setter But the winner of this match will play Zachary and we already know that Halep and Triantec are already into the semis all semi-finals tomorrow Let's talk about Kudamatova. She is number 24 in the world. And she's 24 years old from Russia She's five foot eight Right-handed eight wins five losses on the year. No titles this year, but she has got one title to her name that one being a WTA 500 event in Charleston, which that's a big event. Charleston is a big event on the WTA on the clay court season. So she's uh, she's got a good a good trophy. That's a good trophy to win. And her best wins are against Muguruza and Azarenka this year. Uh, Badosa, she's number seven in the world. 24 years old from Spain. She's 5'11", right-handed. Nine wins, four losses on the year, including a title at the start of the year. And her, uh, three career titles. And her best wins are against Krijakova and... Ostapenko. Now, let's look at this head-to-head. -head. They played twice. They played twice last year. Both of those matches went to Kudamatova. The first one in Abu Dhabi at the start of the year, which is probably the match that we can compare this one to the most uh, because it's a hard court, even though Abu Dhabi is a little bit quicker than the hard court they're playing on today. Uh, but then on the clay courts of Charleston, the event that Kudamatova won, she destroyed Bedosa in that matchup. So... Man, Badosa is the favorite, but Kudamatova should not be denied because she could easily win this match and she's already got the confidence of beating Osaka this week and all the pressure is on the defending champ. Badosa is the favorite in this one. Defending champion, hasn't lost a set. Nearly broke everything there. Uh, so this uh, this is, uh, she's got nothing to lose. Kudamatova, nothing to lose. So it's going to be fun. This is, this, I, I think, if this doesn't go three sets, I'll be kind of bummed. Because I think this one out of all the matches, this one should be three sets. It should be. Answer my question! The question, jerk! All right, let's answer questions. All right, welcome back, everybody. By the way, how many of you got uh, transferred here automatically? Uh, someone said in the chat they, they did, which was cool. YouTube work what YouTube's working. Forty fifteen. And then an ace down the tee. That's another thing she has to do well. Serve well, hit big, and Badossa will win. Great hitting there from Badossa. By the way, who's that lady they keep showing on the screen in the white? I don't know who that is. Who's that who's that does anyone know who that is? If you're watching? They keep showing this one lady. Well, they've shown her a couple of times. Or is she just some random that the cameraman's got a crush on? I, who, does anyone know who that is? Is she famous? Oh, wait. Your, your mum's standing behind me. Your mum's at my house? That's weird. 15, love. Why would you? Okay. As we get a drop shot from Kudamatova, that was smart. Make Badosa run. That's the, that's the plan. That is the plan, man. Now, I want to have a look here. We know Badosa hasn't lost a set so far. Her toughest opponent was Tormo, maybe, in the second, set, third round. 40 love, by the way. Kudamatova winning. Now, Kudamatova had... 
a very tough fourth round match against Von Drusova a couple of days ago. 7-6, 6-7, 7-5. I mean, that's an epic if I've ever seen one. So no surprise, Von Drusova is a very good slow court player. So it's almost a battle of the clay quarters there. As that goes in from Pedrosa. Man, that was a massive return. This is going to be on tennis TV, bro. Massive return. Stupid keyboard. Why ain't it working? All right, Pedrosa. Still down 40-15, though. But that return was a huge return. And that sends it for a reason. Uh, you can go hang out there. Kyrgios versus Rafa. That's coming up. Keegs versus Nadal. It's going to be fun. There it is. I'm spamming the chat. Uh, go check that out if you haven't already. Uh, some of you are probably already over there, but um, that match is the match of the day. Hands down. We'll be over there in about 15 minutes time, um, and it's going to be a lot of fun. But uh, go grab a coffee, tea, breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever you want to do, and we'll be back watching those boys play. But Badosa takes, uh, takes apart the Kudamatova game and just Blast her away with those forehands and the serve. She looks very good, the defending champion. She beats her uh, opponent, Kudamatova, 6-3, 6-2. She plays Sakri tomorrow. It's a very fun lineup for the women's semifinals. We'll see you back very soon for Kyrgios versus Rafa. But also gets the win. Just like the street lights lit this time Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn